a lot of people uh, hear about uh, Mr. Hoover, and it's like a fictional character, but you are one of one of the ones that were actually able to meet him. What was that meeting like, and how was he as a person? Well, when I sat in the business room waiting on him, <laughs> and they know already, like I said, it's the fictional things you in your mind, you think of six foot, 200 solid type of dude finna come through the door and you think, you know, you're kind of nervous. It's like, how is this finna come out? You know, what's gonna be said here? What words I got to get prepared for? But when you see him, he's humble, he's meek, he's intelligent, you know? It's, it's, it's one of them things, like you said, wow. You know, this is this is talent being wasted in here, man. This is what we need on the street to help form and shape things the way they're supposed to be. You know? And so by you knowing him, and, and, and if he had something to say right now, I'm uh, not saying that you're him, but by you knowing him, what do you think his message would be today? Well, he didn't already said it. He didn't say it then, it's gonna be the same message today you know, is that what he did was he was trying to organize us. We so locked into the street, we don't even see the bigger picture. He's trying to organize us on a political level in order to make sure that we take the youngsters and drive the force of the political force in the right way that it benefit our neighborhoods. This is what he was really on. When he started 21 century vote and we out there electing aldermen and trying to get on the mayor's ballot and different things like this, that's what he was pushing for. He was pushing for a political uh, agenda that the neighbors could can now grow on that level right there. 